So here's the story of my primary school experiences in Japan, series number two. In the last video, we talked about some of my experiences in Japanese primary schools, and today we're gonna do a part two of that video, and today we're gonna be talking about lunch in Japanese primary schools. So lunch in Japanese primary schools was really different to what I had experienced back in Australia. In Australia, you usually bring your own lunch. So you can have sandwiches, an apple, um, or some fruits, and you have like snacks in there as well. And that was your that was your usual lunch. Or like some people might bring like rice and some, you know, or what you call like oh I brought like what you call bento. So you have rice and you have like some what is it like the some food from say like last night um, in the bento box and you eat that for lunch but um, in primary schools in Japan the school prepares the lunch for the students so within the school grounds there's a huge kitchen where there's staff cooking lunch for the students so obviously they make a huge amount right and when it's lunchtime they make sure that every student in that class has a portion of their own food and so the food gets brought to the classrooms and from here on is what's really interesting but the food comes to the classrooms and that food needs to be given out to every student in the class and so who does it? The students do it! Isn't that really amazing? So what happens is there are students in charge of giving out the food to everyone. Those students in charge wear masks and they wear like hats and they also wear white aprons and then they wash their hands with soap and then they come back and they help give out the portions to everyone. So for everyone they have this tray and they hold the tray and they bring it around to where the students are and so so the students who are in charge give each student a portion of the food and so there's usually rice and there's the main dish and there's milk it's like there's little packed milks and um, usually you have dessert or like a little bowl of fruit once everyone's given their portion of food they sit down onto their desks but they don't sit where they usually sit in class so in Japan it's really normal to eat food in your classroom and usually the seats are like made so that they face the teacher and each seat is divided they're like not stuck together if that makes sense and so at lunchtime you actually stick those desks you don't stick them you move them together so you're facing each other when you eat your lunch and so you can talk and you can like communicate with each other it was really interesting for me because in Australia well firstly in Australia you usually eat outside during lunchtime so you're not allowed to eat in your classrooms unless it's raining so if it's raining you can eat inside but usually you have to go outside and and eat and so usually you'll be sitting down on the cement on the ground or you'll be sitting in these um, stainless uh, steel stainless steel seats that are placed within the school grounds and so another amazing experience that I had was that after eating lunch the students would clean their own classroom including the toilets that are on the same floor. I don't know about other countries, but in Japan, it's usually normal for a cleaner to come and clean the classrooms and the toilets after the students have left the school. So usually it's after school finishes. But in Japan, after students eat their own lunch, they go and clean their own classrooms with like these cloths that, cloths that you use. And at the back of the classroom, there's this cupboard where, you, where there's like all these cleaning tools inside, like, the, like buckets and like mops. And so students would put water in the buckets and they'll um, put the cloths in there and they'll actually go and clean the, the classroom floor. At first I was really confused because everyone starts cleaning the room and I'm like, wait, what? I've only just finished my lunch. But yes, apparently that's really normal for students in Japan to clean their classroom 
um, when they finish eating. And one thing that was really fascinating to me was that they also clean the toilets. I was really used to the cleaners cleaning the toilets, but in Japan, you know, the students go inside and they wear these boots for um, cleaning the toilets and they have this hose and they like hose the toilets and they mop the toilets. Yeah, I think it was a really good experience for me. I guess it's also good because it helps the students learn how to clean as well. So that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. It may be different depending on the schools in different areas. So, you know, where I went to may be different to schools in other areas in Japan. But what I talked to you guys about was what I experienced when I went to primary school in Japan. I hope you guys enjoyed it today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!